Good day, good day! How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, and it's an unboxing Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fragile one. Yeah, handle with extreme care, and I'm just jumping it around here. Holy cow! What in the world we got? Cheese balls, Dan O. Take it easy. Well, this one came from eBay again. Uh, Palm City, Florida, 349090. Did I catch a niner in there? <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, let's check this out. I think I know what this one is, so I'm kind of prepared for it. I'm not sure, though. So let's just dig right into it. Uh, yeah. Well, happy Saturday to you. Hopefully you folks are having a great Saturday. Uh, get out there. Go do some uh, peg hunting, uh, flea mark hunting, anything. Go find a rover for yourself. That's right. All right. Remember, fragile. That's right. Or uh, French. Uh, fragile. Yeah, that's a movie re reference there. All right. All right. We got the first part taken care of. Let's see how we're going to do this now. All right. Got to save the box because we do the shipping our, ourselves here at Roverland so we can reuse. Yes, that's right. We recycle around here. Reuse, repurpose, regenerate, and all that, <laughs> all that good stuff. I think this opens up on the end, don't it? Yeah, I think so. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Is this going to open up? No, this ain't going to open up on the end. It opens up right here. No, it doesn't open up right there. It opens up over here. I'm going to get a cardboard cut. I know it. I can just feel it coming. I feel it right in my neck. <laughs> oh, man. You got to love the old Ace Ventura, don't you? <laughs> all right. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. Got to be careful with this because it is fragile. Oh, yeah. This is what it is. This is what it is. All right. All right, all right, we got a, okay. All right, got a little peg here. Ooh, all right, here we go. Yep, that's the address, thank you very much, it says. And then this is, uh, this is the item number. Yeah, 675, man alive. Uh, I had to, I had to, and alive. I have not gotten one of these in the wild yet. Plus, this one is supposed to be unspun, I thought. Well, maybe not. Maybe I lost on that one. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, the tan one. Yeah, I haven't got any of these out there in the wild yet. So, I, I bought one on eBay. So, there you go. So, I guess what we're, the, there's only one thing left to do. Really, I thought that was supposed to be unspun. I really do. I, I'm going to have to check on that. Holy cow. Um, yeah, but there it is. Um, yeah, take a look around the package. This is from the uh, C case. Uh, like I say, I haven't found it. Uh, my Walmarts around here and other stores are still on the B and A case yet. I know, un freaking believable. <laughs> So anyway, so there's the tan one, and uh, you know what? I've kind of been ready and waiting for this, and uh, guess what I got? Yeah, we haven't talked about this model in a long time. So uh, here they are. Um, now, to date of this uh, video, there is one more. It came out as a Zamax, so it's in this livery. But it's silver, Zamax, and it will be out uh, later on, 2020. So uh, I will do a, a model a highlight on that one when we get that. But right now, we're going to take a look at uh, this one again. Um, boy, does anybody remember what the first one was? I think it was the red one, wasn't it? Or was it the blue one? Oh, now I can't remember. They both came out uh, 2019. I think it was the red one, wasn't it? Came out first? Yeah, the red one. So, uh, yeah, so let's uh, just open these buggers up and take a look at it again. It's been, uh, I think this was one of the first um, models. 
Hot Wheels models that I uh, uh, reviewed on the channel. So, yeah, why not do it another one, huh? All right, so here we go. Very nice artwork, not bad. It does differ. The uh, surrounds on the head on the headlights on the packaging are not white, but they are on the uh, model itself. So here we go. Very nice looking Series Three, and uh, they call it uh, the Land Rover Series Three pickup. Now, uh, Land Rover in, in the day would not call it a pickup. They would have just called it a Series Three. Uh, 109 wheelbase or a long wheelbase a pickup is kind of a kind of a North America thing you know um, but uh, let's take a look at it here uh, very nice details up front uh, like I say that they, they got uh, tampos for the headlights and surrounds and we'll see how odd that looks when they don't do that but uh, it's got a winch on there it's got the uh, plastic uh, grill and uh just a note <laughs> now i had a series three i had a series three xmod uh 1979 i believe it was and uh i when i first uh, had my rovers and stuff and uh i heard that the australians the aussies were kind of upset when the series three came out because at this time land rover was starting to use more plastic uh, the Series 3 had a uh, plastic dash and parts, and then they put in a plastic front grill. And the Aussies were kind of upset because they couldn't go to the Outback and uh, take the grill off the front of their Land Rover and put up a Bobby. Put another shrimp on the Bobby. <laughs> that's that's leg that's the story. That's the urban legend that the Aussies were upset. Hey, if you know for sure if that is true or not, <laughs> put a comment in the could in the comments down below. But that's the story. So a uh, very nice depiction. Doesn't really have uh, the uh, windows vents underneath the uh, windshield, and I. The, the wipers are not right. They, they're they not like that. They're like regular wipers, I believe. I don't I don't remember them being like that. But anyway, uh, one of the things uh, really hard about this model and the blue one is this top is a tampo and it chips. And you can see there, uh, there's a little scuff there too. It chips and does not hold up very well. So, um, I don't know if you want to call them airs or whatnot, but yeah, they're not uh, really, uh, didn't really hold up. And I, I think that's kind of why they went away from that on these other models, other than being totally different. But uh, very nice uh, depiction. Got the um, Series 3 uh, hinges there, the Series 3 um, side mirror, sliding glass. Mine did have a sliding glass. It wasn't until the Defender came that they had the roll-up windows, uh, 97 or newer. Uh, Tie-downs there for your canvas top or tilt. Those are very nice. Uh, very nice. I, I always like the arches, the, the curve on those wheel wells. I always like that. Very, very nice. Now, um, let's see. This is, uh, this is a left hooker. Yeah, this is a left hooker. Uh, Bay, the, the, the body that's uh, the bed of the body, the body of the bed. Yeah, that's not really a Land Rover either. That's an American style looking uh, 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 bed. Uh, normally they would have triangle um, benches there, uh, boxes. Yeah, and then the uh, rear tire would be mounted on the back or on the hood. Yeah, and uh, if they're mounted on the back, they're uh, the back side of the tire faces you. So, but it is really nice that they have the corner uh, windows on there. You know, those very nice, nice details back here. Heavy duty rear bumper, if I remember right. It's got the grab handles there. That's kind of cool. Uh, people always commented about those. They look like door pulls, uh, <laughs> but their grab handles very useful. Uh, it's got the Land Rover badge here on the left and a license plate with the uh, Hot Wheels on it there and then a backup light. 
Um, and they do have some lens details. They're back, the turn signals and the brake lights, they're very, very nice. Um, let's take a look at the bottom. We didn't really take a look at the bottom. It does have the uh, offset pumpkins, which is very, very correct. Other than that, they're not much. Leaf springs, which is correct. Uh, so there you go. Get back to the uh, passenger side. Now, this has always been a question. Uh, that's not correct, I don't think. I'm not sure. Um, the, the 88s had the uh, filler cap right up behind here because the gas tank was underneath the uh, passenger seat uh, in the U.S., the driver's seat in the U.K. Uh, now, I did have a 19, what was it, 70, 67 uh, five-door, and the gas can filler was back here. So I don't, I'm not really sure there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave that up to the experts. All right. Very nice wheels. These are pretty, pretty uh, straightforward wheels. The last uh, Land Rover, the double cab, has some big, huge wagon wheels, which are bogus. I just don't like that at all. But otherwise, very, very nice. Very nice. So uh, that's the first one, the red one. Let's take a look at the blue one just real quick while we're here. And then uh, we're going to open all these, so stick around. Go ahead and grab a beverage. Uh, make sure that you hit the like button and uh, subscribe yeah tell your friends about this we're gonna have a lot more stuff coming up so uh 2020 is gonna be a good year yeah good good year all right so once again there's the uh surrounds now this one uh has the surrounds on it a little bit more accurate see now the picture has those uh vents underneath but they really don't have uh they've got the hood hood hinges there but not uh but not the uh the vents so that's all right that's all right all right and uh that's the back of it i don't know if you guys want to look at the back but uh very very cool all right so same basic thing uh details those are decals on the front very nice and you can see now this that decal up there how much it just is very hard for them. I, I, quality control, I would have put a damper on that right away, but I suppose that's what they designed it, and then, you know, what are you gonna do? I didn't realize this side is closed, and the passenger's, or the driver's side's open, that window there, yeah. So same basic wheels and all that, jazz, all except for this is blue, instead of uh, red. Yeah, these uh, the uh, tail lights really can stick out in this red one here. That's that's really nice. I really really like that. So very very good. Yeah, and that bed that would be all smooth, um, smooth. That's not grooved at all. Matter of fact, uh, these things are so loud. You know, they're when they run on the road. There's no sound def uh, sound deadening uh, materials or anything. Um, here in Wisconsin, um, we have a lot of dairy farms, and in the the barn they have cow mats. Holy cow, cow mats! They're a big, thick rubber mat. And I went to uh, the local farm store and uh, for my '88, and uh, I bought one. Of course, the '88 is square. Uh, the wheel wells are, are totally, you know, and I put that in there and that helped out a lot. Uh, of course, it didn't bang up the, the bottom too. So that was kind of nice. I put some in the, the foot wells as well to kind of dampen that out. But uh, yeah. All right. So this is the next uh, model that came out. Uh, this one, it got a boogered card. I just picked this one up the other day to tell you the truth. So let's open this one up. <clears throat> this would... Uh, I think this came out in, um, well, 2019, isn't it? I believe this came out 2019, or is this 2018? I'll have to look at the model here. The, uh, see if it'll tell me here. All right, we're almost there. If you're squeamish uh, of stomach, look away. This is going to get, <laughs> this is going to get brutal. Uh, 2017 again. Yeah, but I think this came out, uh, later year. Yeah. 
So, uh, same kind of wheels and everything. Let's take it out of the package. That's what, oh, jeez balls. Hold on, folks. Oh, man, I came back. I came back and dropped that bugger. <laughs> Away she went. <laughs> All right. I don't think we got any uh, permanent damage. All right, so here you go. Uh, like to say, the packaging still has the headlights, but uh, the three-pass rule on uh, the uh, budget, yeah, just got the uh, side tempos. So this is painted green. Got the side tempos, Baja Blazers, and that's the, uh, that's the uh, I don't know, is that a group or whatever? The other ones were uh, just uh, Hot Wheels uh, hot trucks. So Baja Blazer now is the, the different group that they're in. So um, yeah, very nice, very nice. Hala lights, uh, Falcon tires, yeah, Expedition and Race. Yeah, I like that badge on the rear quarter panel there. Number three, I don't know why this, there's probably a significance to that number three, but no tampos on the back now and no tampos on the front. And you can kind of see how, yeah, it just, it looks weird. And then it has a very nice tampo on the top of the hood and uh, the wings. Uh, I thought maybe they'd do a little checker plating on there because that's usually the uh, number one thing you do is put checker plating on those wings. And then two, they changed the uh, color of the base. So a uh, little bit different color. I, I'm not really sure. Dark gray versus a light gray. So I get a little bit of change there. And, uh, you know, so that's also the interior and uh, stuff like that. Actually, I think that's two separate pieces, isn't it? You know, I got one of these taken apart. Maybe we got time, we can look at that. So, uh, but very, very nice, very nice. I like that a lot. And uh, same, same wheels other than these are white and these were chrome, which Land Rover really didn't do chrome. <laughs> so very, very cool, very cool. It's kind of nice that uh, they, they put this line in here for the uh, bottom door sill valances there. And here they colored them. You know, that's kind of nice. That's kind of a series three thing, you know. So very cool. All right. Well, I'm going to open this one up since we, um, yeah, we'll get more of these. But uh, I thought this was, I swear that this was supposed to be an unspun one. Uh, now, what I mean by unspun, that, that means that the rivets in the factory didn't get uh, smushed. And uh, so then it just comes apart. But uh, maybe I'm uh, mistaken and I was thinking of something else and uh, I didn't win that one. <laughs> like I say, I bid on a lot of stuff on eBay, but I don't take home a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Oh yeah, all right. Well, one more little plastic holding on there. So uh, very similar card art to the uh, last uh, deal. Now this one, uh, yeah, they do have uh, the light gray around the surrounds on the headlights there, where that one was still uh, the white stuff, the white ones like the other ones. So uh, very nice, very nice. All right, here we, maybe I won't drop this one on the floor. <laughs> All right, we're doing so good. We're doing good so far. So same tampos as the green one, and I really like that uh, green, um, I don't know, what, you, what color, what kind of color green do you call that? Um, the frost mint green, I'm not sure. But anyway, but I love the tan, that's great too. That's great too, yeah, I love that. So now this is even different yet, um, and I don't know if this will really show up on the camera very well. But, uh, so, light gray, um, I guess that is, no, this is, oh, I see what it is, the, the middle piece, the interior and the, um, and the front grill, that is gray, which is a little bit darker gray than the first one, and then the base is black, but it's not as black as the last one, this last one here is really black. I, I think you can kind of see that if I can get it in, in frame here, I'm trying to look over the camera too. 
Um, so it is a little bit different, but this has a black interior and the black tire on the back. So that's kind of nice. We could do some uh, swapping and customizing, making some really cool customs that way. Just so excited. I'm out of frame. <laughs> I'm out of here. That's it. All right. So there you go. Very nice. Uh, that's the Peninsula, Polin Peninsula, the Baja Peninsula out west in uh, the United States. Goes all the way down into Mexico as far as I know. Uh, race down there, the Baja, uh, what is it, 500, 600? Baja, the Baja, I don't know. Um, no details on the back, obviously. Um, and then on the front. But yeah, that is a black interior now with a black base and then solid black wheels. Nope, they got gray on them. They're black wheels with gray. Yep, so we went from chrome, from chrome to white to now dark gray. They're not black, they're dark gray. Ooh, we're really giving the old camera a one, two. All right, well, there you go. Holy cow, we've been going at it for 21 minutes already, so let's uh, wrap this up. Uh, what's your favorite flavor? What's your <laughs> what's your favorite car color there? Let's see if I can do this without dumping them all. Yeah, there it is, the Series 3 Land Rover. Which is your favorite color, the original red, blue, green, or tan? Yeah, I can't wait for more to come out. We're going to be doing customizings of these things. I've already drilled some apart and uh, been working on the bench. We're going to have to do some videos here shortly. But there you go, an unboxing. Remember, this started with an unboxing. I lost the box already. But an unboxing Saturday with a Series 3 Land Rover Series 3 pickup, pickup uh, model review. Yeah, it's been almost a year since I did a review on this model, so there we go. It's past time. All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, come over to Facebook, Roverland. Join the group and post your stuff there. Anything and everything Land Rover. And on Instagram, Roverland channel. And as always... Thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover Day.